What's up guys, it's Frank Creates, and today, the event is finally out. The event that apparently is supposed to give us a lot of nice free little goodies. So when we go over to Noses, we go over to News, the Abyss Tower Flooded Dungeon event quests are now out. Really exciting, really cool. The Abyss Tower release packs are also out, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the event itself. So, it's going from September 23rd at 8 PTS or PST to October 3rd, 1759 PST. Just convert that to your time. But anyways, up to 28,000 gems for completing quests and fabulous rewards as well. Um, I've actually already used all of my advanced handbooks on 2B. But we also get some insignias of, what is it, skill and... God, what's the other one called? I know it's the same skill, but no, nah, it's not a big deal. Zenith Brilliance and 50 summon tickets. I believe these are the tens as well. Um, so yeah, let's actually talk about this video. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of tips because I've actually gone quite far in this. As you guys can see, I'm all the way down to 18. Um, 10 tens been fucking pretty killer. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You guys might see I knocked out all of them on three stars. Or these three little prongs here. But uh, this video I'm going to try to talk about what you guys want to know before actually going into this. Because this can be pretty unforgiving. First of all, on the details you guys can see presents brilliance. Um, it's only one unfortunately. But then clearing 50 questions cross gets us 10. I don't know why I thought it was 50 of them. But yeah, it's actually 10 premium summon pools. So I guess they're not bad. I think definitely these rewards right here are the fabulous ones for sure. Insignia, the 10 advanced handbooks, and another insignia. Really, really fucking good. And of course, 28,000 gems can't go wrong with. You can also get a few extra from doing the little challenge parts, which are using with certain characters in the game so if you guys don't have like four star characters three stars are gonna be your best bet i actually had to use a few like breon and demos because i don't have any four star pulls of them but up uh, but getting them to level 80 isn't that difficult because i've gotten so many pulls of them from playing the game creating pretty critical hits one through ten ain't that bad once you get to like 11 through like 15 through 18 it gets a bit more killer um Definitely going to want to have more than the recommended total force. But really importantly, you guys might notice that all these are water. Yes, 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 they're all water. Now, I do recommend that when you're at the lower levels, um, like at the 60,000s at Quest 1. The one thing I do recommend is at least trying to implement the characters. Even if they do die on you, you can always go back and use your strongest team to get these other ones. You don't have to do all of them in one go. You can do all three of these multiple times or well not multiple times but take multiple attempts to get all of them so you can't get all of them you don't have to do it all in one go at first i thought that's what it meant when it said like go through it once i'm like oh shit but no it's actually just there's no like hard very hard or yeah you, you know what i mean in this it's all just like levels like b1 through b20 so you guys might notice that we've seen all these rewards but what about this right here well this apparently at level 20 when you beat level 20 it's 120 total force badge flooded dungeon traversal let me know in the comments if you actually have got this but commemorated commemorative proof that you have vanquished the foes in the deepest part of the abyss tower flooded dungeon i don't know if it has any other reward except for just like being in your special items but it, i'll find out eventually but yeah absolutely like let's get into how we beat this because i've just been rambling about what's what's going on here so we'll go over to loadout and i'll show you what i've been doing um i actually have not been using 2b i've been using um galay believe it or not i've been using galay right here abstract hunter galay i've got her to level 80 and i've got her um Melody's pretty leveled up, so that's good. Um, I've been using her a lot just because of her agility and because um, her pull actually gives me the Wretched Blade, which is a wind weapon. And I think that having that... I know, like, more PvE-oriented is when you're going to want to have, like, the um, really fast agility. But I'm going to be honest, if you guys do look at my weapons here... Um, I got the Tormented Excavator, or Excivator, I don't fucking know how to pronounce it. 
question me in the comments below go ahead but perfect justice with haste and ambush honest to god if there are any wind out weapons out there that have these oh fuck skill cooldown down by 10 percent and ambush critical rate up by 20 that's nearly perfect for this event but unfortunately i gotta use my wretched blade here but best girl a2 we had an event a few times back that we got the blackbird greatsword which is a free five star wind greatsword in the game and i got that shit all leveled up and maxed out so we got blackbird vertigo inflict stun 95 percent damage fleet foot vigor vigor's attack up Honest to God, I don't really see many. Maybe there is. Tell me in the comment sections below. Do you know of any wind weapons that do do like do, do have like passives that are like haste? I know there might be like maybe one in the um dark challenges, the dark weapons with the characters. But that's about it. So vigor, fleet foot. I know this is more like it's not like a PVP than a PVE build. I've been using Theo, just cause you know I do want to try to use like two B, but like. And 2B has been, like, fantastic, by the way. I absolutely... 2B has been pretty good. I got her to 2 now because of the advanced handbooks. Because I'm actually going to be using her in PvP. Because I think 2B is absolutely a good girl. So, yeah, basically, I've been... If you do have companions that have wind, use them. Win, 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 win. But also, you want to balance that out with your total force as well. Very important. So, Dragon Peridot, um, Indie Bear, Dulcimere, basically anything that could power up your um, wind attacks you're going to want to do or does wind damage. I actually think that Ice Pods, Ice Bar support all wheel. Wait, no, there should be. I think it's Botan that does. Well, yeah, maybe Botan might be a good one because it takes down your water damage and there's a lot of water enemies that are going to do water damage to you. So, Baton might be a good one. Let's see, what does Ice Bar shut down as well? For Tome, Belief, and Heart as well. 20%. Wait, just, I want to make sure I'm reading that correctly. Not with Tom. Well, I know a lot of people say, oh, but Ren, well, companion attacks, that's water. That's going to be um, not very effective. But what is effective is that the water damage taken out is by 20 damn percent for all allies once that move is procted from using it so that can actually be really helpful so and another thing i've noticed i don't know if this is because the green water vice event but they've been giving me quite a few um <laughs> damn i forgot the name of it um down here where is it these right here fuck how it not quill and pen ink ink we got i believe it's a hundred of this ink right here, which is the, I believe it's the low quality ink. Then we have medium quality ink. Then we have high quality ink. So that's probably for green water vice. However, I can also see using it to upgrade that companion as well. The belief and heart. But basically put together your best PVE build. You can. Wind is very important. I know Emil, if you got enough diversion of meals, another chef's kiss. Emil is got to be the best boy ever. 520% damage once combo length, Vigor and Aegis, and if you have not seen his weapon, his stave weapon, oh my fucking god, let me find out right now, I know this is kind of during two overview, I'm trying to get that video out, but I still haven't gotten best boy brother near yet, or the world ender, world savior, whatever the hell you want to call him, but yeah, we got the philosopher staff right here, trial vertigo, inflict stun, it's a wind weapon, Upgrade to five stars. I could right now if I want to. I actually have enough. I have like over a hundred of the em the emerald. But we got another one. Fifty percent damage and inflict stun four times. Trial mending heals as well. Recovery fifteen percent for all allies. Not bad. Fleet foot with toughness, which I believe gives us more health. So it's absolutely like if you if you guys have the replicant characters using them might not be a bad idea especially a meal um i believe doesn't our boy yet yeah, or super's not gonna work but yeah philosopher staff with divergent oddity a meal is a really good one if you have the um duplicates if not that's fine too but i've been rocking this um and i have been using like different characters like if i have to i'll switch over like argo um 
Lars, Akeha, Griff, I've been using Abstract Gunman for, um, Zik, 630, yeah, 630, 6, 063Y, Fractured Prisoner, had to swap out Best Girl A2 a few times, unfortunately, so hopefully Babe forgives me for that, but haven't had to use Noel yet. But yeah, if I don't have a pool, I'll usually use like the three stars again. You might have these. So, Demos, Distant Gunman, and Rion. You probably, the, exi the Distant Exile, probably could use them. I've also been using the F66X Captive Guardian from the event, the um, record event. She's been okay from when I have to deal with them, but I haven't really been finding myself using them too much because my Toll Force isn't high enough. But I am trying to get um, the Wretched this for Fio. But yeah, I mean, wind weapons are really important if you get the wretched weapons in specific because you can get them as pulls and pretty much at all the time. So that's one really, really good thing. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wretched blade. Pretty good. Really good, actually. Um, I again, I used what's her name? Abstract Gunner Galay before I started using 2B. Um, I do think 2B is, of course, more of a PvP oriented. Again, mostly because it deals 100 damage five times, increases damage by 4% on HP and load. But I have actually got pulled this shit off in the event, so, and it really did help Fleetfoot. Again, I've been, I was hoping that maybe I'd be able to, like, get a few, like, dodge crit, or not dodge criticals, but, like, dodge attacks and counter attacks, but I haven't gotten any. I've only gotten, like, two or three. But yeah, like this is really a testament to how much you really have if you're going to pull through with this. But I'm going to keep trying, keep grinding, and hopefully I'll be able to get to the 20th and grab, just snatch up that badge. But yeah, I'm sure there might, there's definitely going to be a part 2 to this, so if I miss anything, let me know in the comment section below what I should talk about next. Um, I didn't actually show any gameplay footage. If I do, it might be up on the screen while the video is going on. But yeah, make sure to like the video if you guys got any con or any value from the content. Also, again, comment in the comment sections below. Tell me where you're at in this event, what your total force is, what your loadout is, or even if you've already gotten this badge. Let me know in the comment sections below. Like, make sure to subscribe for more new reincarnation content, and never miss a video by hitting the bell so you're the first to see my content drops. Share this video with your friends, Discord. I've been Red Crates. I love all you guys. Stay safe and stay on era.